decision to cancel. The September the scorcher campaign. beginning earlier this week. Okay, Tuesday it was very hot. Yes. After holding class that day when the heat index warmed to the upper 90s, the district has not held class since. Many of the classrooms have no air conditioning. So this, this classroom does not have AC, right? Does not have AC. Windows are open. There are fans going and it's still really warm as you can feel. Different rooms we visited measure temperatures anywhere from 89 to 92 degrees. Some areas in the room even hotter. 109. Whew. It brings a new definition to hangry, not it does hungry and angry. You get hot, hot and, and angry. That's a good, good analogy. Yeah. The decision to close is one made day by day, according to Superintendent No, and they are brainstorming to figure out other solutions. Instead of closing, we we'd like to be open in the morning, but many of our families work, and so if you try to take kids home midday, there's nobody home to to meet these kindergartners. While school officials are figuring out what to do moving forward. Not every parent feels canceling is the best option. I just think it's kind of unusual and kind of out of out of sorts, really, just because that's not something that I was used to growing up. Aru also brings up the difficulties it poses to other parents. I mean, I can understand not so much from my standpoint as having a high schooler, but for a lot of like parents with younger kids, it's highly inconvenient. Yeah, it messes with, you know, work schedules, everything like that. Now, Superintendent No tells me that by and large, a lot of the parents reaching out to her are happy with the decision to close uh, schools down with the high heat and plus, of course, no air conditioning. Now, as far as tomorrow is concerned, no class again tomorrow. And as far as those makeup days, so far they're not in a situation where any days need to be made up. But of course, winter is just around the corner, so that could change in the future. For now, live in Mount Auburn, Allison Rogers, WLWT News 5.